I'm Andrew Latham, Vice President of Exploration Research at Wood Mackenzie. My role is to understand how different exploration opportunities compare, how their economics stack up, and increasingly how those opportunities compare with other opportunities within oil and gas, uh, and of course within the wider emerging new energy world as well. The oil and gas exploration industry is in a really interesting place right now. Um, everybody knows that the energy transition is coming and that's making people question how much oil and gas we're going to need in future. And I think for explorers that question becomes, do we still need new oil and gas fields or can we actually manage with the ones we've already got? So everybody in the industry now is looking for advantaged oil and gas. Um, but that's not a term that's got any kind of formal definition. What do we mean by advantaged resources? Um, well, I think it means lower cost, lower carbon, of course, um, better access to market, better fiscal terms, um, and lower risks, whether those are above ground risks or below ground risks. So all of these things together make advantaged resources. And of course, the opposite would be the disadvantaged resources that people don't need. So what I've found now that I'm able to work with Lens is that I can look at the entire global population of discovered resources, so tens of thousands of individual fields, and get to the, a total view of what their economics look like, how much of this resource is advantaged by whatever definition of advantage I might choose, and then start to see how that compares against the exploration opportunities that I'm more familiar with working with. So when you're, you're starting to think about a a really strategic question that requires a complete data set of all oil and gas and you need to start thinking about how much of this resource will be available for a given price point or a given set of circumstances or within a given time frame you need to be able to trust that the data you're working with is complete not just in terms of its volumes but also in terms of its costs and its economics and, and all of that data is within lens and if you start thinking well hang on a minute what happens if I take out the unconventional plays? What happens if I take out the tight oil or the tight gas? And that's just a simple click and you can test your theory, you can test your, your thinking um, in a matter of seconds and see you know, if there's something in the data that's surprising you or if there's something there that doesn't fit with the idea that you had, you can really get under the hood and start to you know, analyze why that is. Are there certain regions that are different? Are there certain resource themes that are different? Um, you know, what is it that, that's pulling back the result that you weren't expecting to see? And, and Lens makes that so easy. It makes it really uh, possible to be creative in new ways because if, if an idea pops into your head, you can go away and test that idea in, in, in almost as fast as you can have the idea. That's the limitation now. It's not the, you know, the, the, the preparation and the collation of the data, which used to basically stop you doing most of those things. Now it's super easy. So we can be much more creative in the questions that we ask of the data, the questions that we ask of our analysis, and, and this allows us to be much more innovative. You know, we're doing things this year that we just wouldn't have taken on in previous years, and you see that in our research. You see us taking on these big questions about you know, where does exploration sit, for example. That's, that's been the question I've been working on. Um, if you want to answer questions about exploration holistically, you need to look at upstream holistically. And that's what Lens allows you to do. So you can just be so much more innovative. You can take on these bigger, bigger, more, more existential questions for the industry, which we just didn't used to touch before because it was too hard work.